guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys yet another new jailbreak tweak that was recently released on Cydia. This jailbreak tweak is called Imperium, and the developer of this tweak claims to be inspired by Mission Control and Launchpad that is featured, obviously, in Mac OS X line and Mountain line. So let's go ahead and dig right into this tweak. Now I have the activation method set up as a tap and hold on the status bar, but of course you can change that to whatever you want. So when we tap and hold the status bar, as you can see, we have our backgrounded applications right here. This is the first page of Imperium. So right here, obviously just have simple backgrounded applications. We can launch something like settings. We can tap and hold again, and we can launch something like the iTunes store, whatever's in your background. Um, basically, this is just an alternative to your multitasking bar. So let's go ahead and swipe over to the next page. That's where you get all of your system settings. Right here, obviously you can change the brightness. We're gonna put that back down. You can change the volume. Sometimes these are a little hard to uh, drag around. It'll actually swipe between pages sometimes. We have toggles for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, location, and flashlight. Obviously, I can quickly turn off and on my Bluetooth. And then right here, we have some cool options like tweet, quick photo, quick search, quick mail, song lyrics, and power alert. I'll show you a couple of them. Right here, we have tweet, which is, uses iOS 5's built-in tweet functionality. Then right here, we have a quick search, and we tap quick search, and then you can type something and obviously hit Google, and it will Google that specific search. Of course, there are other options down here that you can go ahead and try out yourself. So let's go ahead and swipe to the right, and we're going to go to our third page. And this basically brings up a laundry list of all your applications on your iOS device. Every application on my iOS device is in this list right here, which isn't as useful as the favorited applications or bookmarked applications at the bottom of your screen that you can set in the settings. I'll show you that here in a sec. But right here, we can choose any application that we want to. So we want to launch up the App Store, even though it's in our bookmarks, we can launch up the App Store. I'll show you that you can now customize which applications are in this quote-unquote dock on the bottom of your third page. So let's go ahead and jump to settings. So let's go to Imperium, and obviously the top of the Imperium preferences, you have the activation methods. Like I said, you can use Activator to set what other, whatever method you like. Um, right here, you have your bookmarked apps. So right here, as you can see, I have the App Store, and if I bring that up, there is the App Store when I slide it right there, and Cydia and Tweetbot and Camera are also right there. Let me go ahead and bring settings back up. And obviously you can see that my other applications like Tweetbot and Camera are activated right there. All right, then we can change some options like the darker background, the blur radius, animation speed. All that is kind of just for preferences. Obviously you can make the animation speed. Uh, let's see, we can do it like this, and obviously you can see it's a lot slower. Or you can just do something like this. We can make it super quick. Let's go back here. We can hold it, and there you go, it almost pops up instantly. Now what's also really cool is that you can double tap to dismiss. I really like this feature, because instead of having to hit the home button, you just double tap and you get rid of Imperium. So that basically is all that Imperium has to offer. It is a pretty cool jailbreak tweak. It's only 99 cents on the Cydia store, so I recommend, if you, that, I recommend that you check it out, especially if you haven't tried any other multitasking tweaks that have previously been available on Cydia. So that is it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.